All right, so I'm gonna give you my insights on this boss here, and he's pretty aggressive. In fact, pretty aggressive is an understatement. His ass <laughs> is basically designed to where you can't really be super aggressive on him. Um, trades with him are not recommended. Now, keep in mind, as with any boss, you could probably destroy these things in two hits if you power level and over level. But these are for people who basically just started or, you know, are pretty low level or match the level of the bosses, I should say. And, you know, we're not over leveled here. We don't have a lot of equipment. Our sword is plus one. I'll show stats and things at the end. So, I want to give this guy a chai. <laughs> a chai. <laughs> a try. And it. He proved to be really challenging. He killed me more than a fair share of times, and I had to get his move set and things down in order to fight him effectively. What I noticed about him, like I said before, is that he's super aggressive, but to, you know, add to that, to, while being super aggressive, he has very few lapses in his attacks, you know, so I think. I didn't want to cheese this like I said but he I feel like anyone that had range which I did have access to range with my bow but if you had range magic or a bow you could kind of probably just <laughs> back paddle and shoot him and make this fight irrelevant but for those who have to get in close and use melee he can be troublesome there's a lot of tricks um, you know blocking with this guy would be super effective to go for the counters but again you know this is for a samurai and our shield isn't really built for that so all in all I think with this guy spacing is really important sometimes he just walks around and does his own damn thing <laughs> it's like what of course if you had a bow or some range magic or stuff like I said it would be easy but it's kinda hard to engage if you try to run up on this guy he's gonna do like a two flip four part combo and kinda shred you so you have to be extremely patient and yeah my trick was just the back pedal all that showboating stuff because he was actually irritating me so much and I finally got to this point to where I could probably just toy with him I learned his moveset and he was pretty easy for me but he was really knocking me out so the claw drag attack into the jumping air attack I would say is his weakest combo not damage wise that stuff would actually shred you but when he does this you want to roll and quickly attack him with your strongest attack you possibly can the downtime in between that is really short but it's the best time to attack him I figured out so keep that in mind and yeah you have to stay on him so you can attack but also not attack until you're sure you have that opening window it's it's really hard because he's really quick so are his attack animations and he'll run you down he'll actually use his teleport um, rush down maneuver every time you try to pop a heel throughout spacing no matter what he's doing on the screen if he's having those little moments where he lapses and stays far away he'll ignore them if you go to pop a heel so keep that in mind and make sure you have enough distance and time to use it but all in all not too bad of a boss I am only level 12 fighting him and I'm fresh to the game so it's an it could have been made difficult. Um, the difficulty could have been made easier with range for sure. But I wanted to challenge for those who pick samurai and want to get up close and personal. Next time I'll find him again with my bow. There'll be more of these. I'm not going to do them for every boss, but every boss that I beat underpowered and ever under leveled, I'm gonna go ahead and make a video for if something funny happens or that. But this won't really be a boss guy type of thing. There's plenty of other channels for that. But yeah, there's my gear, there's my stats, and there's some tips and tricks on how to beat that guy. Where to find him, I'll keep leave that up to you. Stay safe. Peace.